Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. We're in our Collaboration for Civil 3D series, and so far we've discussed what Collaboration for Civil is, whether or not you should consider using it. We've set up our team, and I've showed you what our team members look like. We've set up a project in BIM 360, and we've given permissions and roles and assigned users to that project. And now we're going to look at setting up Civil 3D to work with data shortcuts and data references using the cloud versus your file server. Now the first thing you're going to need if you haven't done this already is to install the desktop connector. I'm on the screen now on the web where you can access the download link for desktop connector. You'll want to download that and install it. And that's going to be what gives Civil 3D the ability to communicate with what you've stored in the cloud in BIM 360. Now one quick way to check that your desktop connector installed successfully is just to open up Windows Explorer and look for this virtual drive that taps you into BIM 360. When I click on that drive, I see all the accounts that I've been invited to or that I own, and then I can drill into those accounts into the projects within them. I can also do that from within Civil 3D, and that's a key piece to being able to have that interaction. So now we're here in Civil 3D, and you can see that I'm logged in as myself. I'm going to be logging in as different people as we go through these, these videos, so that's why I'm pointing that out. And I want to set Civil 3D up to look at the project that I just created, that C4C January 2020. So what I need to do is go down to my Data Shortcuts section in Prospector, right-click, and first set my working folder. Because Desktop Connector is installed, I can go here to BIM 360 into my account, Epic Architects. Remember, that's the company that I am working for. My project is called C4C January 2020, and there's that project files folder. Now, as I said in a previous video, you may have additional folders beneath project files, and one of them may be the one that you want to specify as your working folder. You are totally free to do that. I'm going to use project files because it's simple and it'll save us some time. So that will become my, my working folder. I'll click Select Folder, and that step's done. The next step is to set up our Data Shortcut Project folder. So I'll just right-click Data Shortcuts, and then pick New Data Shortcuts Project Folder. I'm just going to call this Civil 3D. You can, of course, call it whatever you do in your company. And by the way, you don't have to create this fresh each time. There is a way to establish this folder structure in advance and use it as a template so that each time you set up a new project, you're not creating a new folder, you're actually just selecting a folder that already exists. And you can use a project template if that's the way you do it. You may have a project template set up that has all the different subfolders in it for your teams or for how you break up the work in your projects. All of that's still possible and totally doable with this setup. I'll go ahead and click OK. And what just happened is Civil 3D actually created that new folder first locally, but then that folder is being also synced up to BIM 360. So if we were to flip over to BIM 360 and take a look at our BIM 360 project, I'll just close this down and we'll do a quick refresh. In just a few seconds, we should be able to see that Civil 3D folder pop up right here in the BIM 360 environment, and you can see it right there. Another place that that shows up is in Windows Explorer, because we've got Desktop Connector installed, and we can see inside of BIM 360. So if I go to my C4C January 20 project, project files, there's my brand new Civil 3D folder that we just created. And if you know anything about the inner workings of Civil 3D and data shortcuts, you know that it creates this underscore shortcuts folder and populates that as the project progresses and we create new data shortcuts. I want to point out that these are one in the same. This Civil 3D folder is exactly the same as this one. This is a mirror of what you see in BIM 360 and they're constantly keeping each other in sync. So Desktop Connector is your window into BIM 360 from your Windows desktop. So switching back to Civil 3D, all we've done in this, in this step is we've set up our working folder and our data shortcuts project folder so that Civil 3D can exchange data shortcuts using the cloud. In the next video, we'll actually get into creating some drawings and posting some work up to BIM 360 and doing some collaboration. 
Thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Please keep checking back for more tips, tricks, and tutorials all having to do with BIM 360.